of uh, today's Kai's uh, Kai's Distinguished Lecture Series. So his um, the topic of the lecture is partial differential equations of mixed type analysis and applications. So even if we cannot just be in the same space at the same time, please uh, show your welcome by pressing the hand button to welcome <laughs> Professor Chen. So, okay, so please now it's your time. <laughs> well, well, thank you very much, uh, Mian Jiang, uh, and uh, to give this talk in your distinguished lecture series uh, today. Uh, I would like to thank the, the organizing committee for the invitation. Uh, so as uh, Ming Jiang uh, introduced, the topic of my talk is on the analysis and applications of partial differential equation of mixed type. Uh, basically, I'm going to uh, present some uh, older and new uh, underlying uh, connections between partial differential equation of mixed type and several fundamental problems in fluid dynamic and differential geometry and other areas. Uh, and to yeah. discuss some listening to developments in um, analyzing and solve those uh, mixed type problem uh, with application, uh, slow this connection, the, those connections. Uh, let me start with some uh, background. Coefficient matrix is still two by two. So matrix, you have two eigenvalues. So generically, these two eigenvalues may change sign. Slow from one domain to other to one part leading to other type of domain. Okay, okay. one lead domain and other domain for that to different uh, places. So here is uh, uh, yeah, I, I give you the three fundamental examples. Okay. Typical like the first equation example, the coefficient change sign, right? Uh, sign function, uh, discontinuous jump, uh, sign function, simple sign function. The second equation, Chokomi equation. Uh, then so that when care this equation, the coefficients they are also very nice, okay? But they really represent a different type of degeneracy, okay? Uh, more precisely, uh, the first uh, example is the sign function. You will see if u bigger than zero in the half plane, right? So the equations uh, become really exactly Laplace equation, or x less than zero wave equation. Then transition boundary x equals zero, slow the jump discontinuity coefficient sign, the sign function for that. Okay, so this is a mixed type from elliptic hyperbolic, slow. Uh, the transition boundary x equals zero from basically Laplace equation to wave equation, the jump is through x equals zero. Okay. Now, Chokomi equation is different. Now, coefficients are very continuous. Then, of course, u bigger than zero is the elliptic equation, u less than uh, x less, bigger than zero elliptic equation, x less than the hyperbolic equation. So, this equation of course is of the hyperbolic degeneracy at x equals zero. Reason is uh, you compute two characteristics when x equals less than zero. The co characteristics coincide when the touch to x equals zero, but perpendicular, okay, to the way. But they become original hyperbolic equation become the general hyperbolic equation. Two characteristics coincide, but perpendicular to the degenerate curve. Uh, like the transition boundary, okay? Now, if you look at the transformation, you call the transfer trichromy equation as now we call elliptic hyperbolic all of Poisson double equation, which is uh, you have an operator like Laplace operator and a wave operator. Then the first order term, the singularity, the sign, the coefficient beta is essential, okay? Represent the degeneracy or the kind of degeneracy. Love this be actually beta because then there's a hyperbolic degeneracy. Okay, later with that. Now, uh, in contrast, the Hildish equation is different. Okay, although this is x in this delay, then still of course mixed type from uh, elliptic to hyperbolic x equals zero. But degeneracy 
the equation has a parabolic degeneracy at equals zero, x equals zero. Difference uh, the two characters family, they are quadratically polarized, lying on half plane, touch tangential at the contact points to the degenerate the line. Okay, the tangentially the, uh, the characters for that. So you could uh, do the same slow coordinate transformation. You can get this, uh, again the ellipse hyperbolic all up Poisson double equations. Difference between Kerdish Chokumi equation and beta sign change. Beta from one over three now change to minus one over four. It's uh, one is positive constant, one negative. They so give different type of degeneracy near the, uh, the x equals zero or tau equals zero later with that. Okay. Uh, now the the for so for those kind of PDE, the, the for those kind of PDE now the common feature of course that the you know the transition boundary x equals zero, all right? Uh, that means you know the boundary of so before you solve from after you don't know different from linear case you don't know transition boundary. So before you, you don't know where the elliptic will have to until you solve the problem. Then you do go to estimate. Then you see you will find all oh, this equation the elliptic in certain region domain the certain domain hyperbolic. Okay, then so actually transition boundary is a free boundary. Okay, uh, between elliptic and the hyperbolic. Okay. So since uh, the, the, this is the complication, the many very powerful and useful uh, the methods approach in the, in the theory of partial differential equation, linear partial differential equation, uh, they are no longer applicable to those PDEs. Okay, so the require really new ideas and uh, techniques and, uh, and approach, uh, new mathematics. Okay, so deserve our uh, special attention. This. So now I'm trying to give you the uh, several classes of a very strong shock, we now call ball shock, between Earth and the Sun very often during the Sun explosion. So in the Sun explosion, the Sun emitted uh, ionized gas in one direction, form like a piston problem. Then you form a very big shock in space. Uh, between the sun and the earth. Uh, so this is really good shock and to protect us from cause sun, uh, sunny one, sun one laying or sun, uh, sun uh, yeah, the, the explosion, okay, for the protect our earth. So this kind of shock could generate in the, uh, from a surface explosion. Right? During the surface explosion, uh, you form the first, first form fireball, then form the almost fixed symmetric shocks outside the ball here. Okay, it's propagated to go this direction. Okay, so after a cross shock, the density, velocity, and temperature express the jump. So the uh, shock, the shock really could dimension one surface basically for that. So those kind of shock also can be generated by a supersonic air cluster. So I took the example, this is from F18, this is now more recent to like F13, 38 actually, uh, T38, yeah. So this is a new one, the actually experimental NASA in uh, March 5 in 90, uh, I think 99, uh, 99, yeah. So this is the, 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 here are the two supersonic jets, right? They trying to understand, trying to uh, experiment, trying to really want to understand the, the uh, interaction of waves. As you, uh, this, uh, you can see now, this took, yeah, this is amazingly experiment. So they, I would show point the two pilots, uh, both are female pilots, okay? They, they did this experiment very successfully, but very high challenging ex experiments. But you will find now this is the shock from the in front of the jets, 
Then the pen geometry of jets, you generate the other shocks from the one from other places. Okay, so you can see when the if the Mahana, the speed become fast, the Zuzu shock will become strong and strong. So more close look now is uh, this is a shock we generated by the sharp nose supersonic model in uh, wind tunnel. You can close look here. You will find this is a two dimensional model. Then you will find in the front the shocks formed. Then the shock from this corner from the this wing here your strong shocks. Okay, so the other place the shocks for that. So the first example is actually the the following shock uh, problem uh, as example is called the supersonic flop uh, pass on uh, the solid solid wedge. Okay. So uh, set up a very simple, this two dimensional wedge, the supersonic flow moving from far field. Then, interesting, you'll find there are two solutions. Uh, one solution called uh, strong shock, uh, always a supersonic, transonic shock, we call the supersonic to subsonic. Another shock, weak shock, depend on wedge angle. If wedge angle is uh, less than that, will be the subsonic subsonic. Then, if wedge angle beyond the sonic, then you still should become transonic subsonic subsonic. Okay. Now, in terms of PD language, this cause transonic means that one side is hyperbolic, the other side is elliptic. Okay. But now the full, then you will find the two solutions. You give a PDE full dynamic PDE, I will explain later on. Then you solve the problem, then satisfy the uh, entropy condition called second law thermodynamics. Then you find two solutions. So it's a surprise, it's a so simple problem. You get the two solutions very naturally. You cannot exclude the one of us. Okay. So this is related with now. Uh, somehow um, uh, related with a non uniqueness issue, right? Uh, if uh, the, the, to the question whether both of shock are admissible, if admissible, how could uh, we understand non uniqueness issue? Then, if uh, not, if we're not, then how could we uh, distinct, you know, exclude one from the others? So, this is called attention from the early days by the Planck, so he uh, he examined many diff uh, experimental results. Then he conjectured the weak shock is a physical admissible, since uh, all experimental results show that by that time always pick a weak shock solution. And the, he also later on formed the, uh, the configuration. He conjectured what now we call plant to male shock configurations. And dynamically, he find with his think this solution configuration dynamic, it goes infinitive, the will tend to the weak shock solution asymptotically. Okay, from steady state problem to yes, dynamic problem to steady state problem. So this is the uh, caught the attention when Coulomb Free did uh, lot this project, book, book project along 1940s solution or strong shock solutions. It turns out that this problem also can be reduced to the nonlinear PD of mixed elliptic and hyperbolic. Okay. So let me explain a little bit more, uh, more uh, brief, uh, briefly about that. So now the question, the, this is the experimental result, this is a numerical result, can okay, write this form. The first equation is the conservation mass, again, Second equation is now Bernoulli law, the time dependent here. Again, I can, the gamma is any constant, okay, gamma minus in low, I can represent the density in terms phi t or gradient phi, then plug in phi into first equation form the nonlinear wave equation, seeking out the nonlinear wave equation. Actually, this is the one of the early motivations uh, why we, uh, uh, the, you know, the so interesting study nonlinear wave equations in mathematics. And uh, so actually the Adama, he, the, 
he shows that uh, if initially is uh, initially it has the uh, co zero for the potential model. The rotation now, then you can put if solution reasonable regularity, then solution keep the same form, okay, or cross the some boundary like that. So uh, this uh, this is the equation I want to not to uh, focus on to show you how this is really hyperbolic PDE, okay. So I want to show you how come out from through this problem uh, how non PDE mixed elliptic hyperbolic type PDE. Uh, arising from this problem, okay? So this is because this problem, you can form your initial boundary problem, basically. Uh, your income flow, you have initial data, okay? Uh, then then slip boundary condition because the boundary is Now in a wave equation is invalid. Initial data is invalid. The boundary condition is invalid, okay? Now from, uh, experimental result, you can see the solution really a self-similar type. Okay, so naturally we're looking for solution constructed as the parental major configurations. We're looking for self-similar solution. So self-similar solution is means you're looking for solution only depend the cosine eta, which formula x one divided t x two divided t. Then density depend the cosine eta this form. Velocity uh, uh, potential is form for con convenient. I take the quadratic form out, then focus on this phi. Then what do you find in your calculation? Phi was set against alpha, seeking out the nonlinear PD. Okay, different from steady case is uh, steady case we don't have too low term. You have to independent phi the low density. Now the more complicated. The equation density function depend now the the not only green phi also phi you can represent this form. Okay. So this is a really nonlinear uh, equation, a mixed elliptic and hyperbolic. Again, where this equation is elliptic when green phi less than c star uh, before the constant static is not depend phi. Then otherwise the hyperbolic should have a body. You, you give a surface, then we can define of our first fundamental form called metric. John, you know that you want to describe the distance then in the metric, then you want to see how the the curve, the surface uh, twist or what kind of motion then relate to the curvature in, in the large enough then this can be done. Okay, so this is roughly the Nash theorem. So he proves that actually in up to, now is in called genetic dimension, this is optimal dimension. This is what the really application we want. But he proves that if target dimension is C is in plus four in compact case, and non-compact a little bigger, you know, the n plus one, multiply n plus one, a little bigger than compact case, then he can prove it. So this dimension, reduced dimension has been done by Gromov and Goethe and others, you know, slow, want to reduce the target dimension to from bigger n to lower n. Now important for application lately is the word optimal dimension uh, in the elasticity, material science or other areas. We really want optimal dimension. And also, what about rigidity of the asymmetric bedding? Means the asymmetric bedding sequence still limit still asymmetric bedding. Then the, the, another lowest target dimension. Other complication is the regularity issue. The optimal assigned regularity, the last coefficient. This specific example, I show you the like space like compressed vortex sheets the, with coefficient quite a bluff. Okay, the question how to do transport equation uh, with uh, stationary points of mixed type, special elliptic hyperbolic type, and the further develop from new mathematics. So I would like to call your attention uh, the, during this talk. Probably I should stop here now. Yeah, thank you very much.